Everybody has that experience. You go out for a walk on the beach and uh, it's glorious sunset and think, wow, that's great. I'm, I, I feel like making a painting. So you think it's the sunset that inspired you. I think there's something else to it. It's not as simple as that. I think there is something that you went for the walk in the first place that allowed you to be inspired. I or somebody go for a walk and I find the twig or I find the leaf. I was in a place in my life where I just was able to see that leaf. I think for me, I see jewelry everywhere. I started officially when I was 17 with an apprenticeship in Vancouver, Canada. This was in the early 70s. I was walking on West Vancouver and picking up sticks and stones and leaves, and I said, oh, I can cast that. And um, with the leaves, I always was surprised. They're so free in their shape. And then I see it immediately like, oh, that's a great pin. Uh, so it's, it's like I see the jewelry lying on the floor there. Um, it's more like the piece tells you what to do with it, you know. I think beauty in general, it's, it's sort of what you feel, you know, what you feel is beautiful and it's different for everybody else. You know, I like diamonds and I like a lot of gemstones. But the minute you would add like a gemstone to something like that, then the whole piece becomes, oh, what a nice emerald in there, you know. Oh, look, it has diamonds. And it sort of detracts from the actual work. And I try to aim for something that just looks like, well, that was meant to be that way. For me, the biggest breakthroughs, the biggest uh, changes in ideas or really uh, things happen when something in my personal life getting married or the kid going off to college or moving, like that really get to the core of your emotional person, you know, like a death in a family. And that I think the ideas come more out of unconsciously, out of that whatever struggle you're involved with. And uh, it's survival. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, the struggle is really how to survive, how to make your life. You wonder really what makes you tick there, or why do that, and uh, I still haven't given up on <laughs> trying to find out the answer, and probably if you interview me next year, I have a different answer, you know, it, uh, it changes and it evolves, it's alive. <laughs>